War was on the horizon. Two students in the yeshiva were discussing the situation. I hope I'm not called, said one. I'm not the type for war. I have the courage of the spirit, but nevertheless I shrink from it. But what is there to be frightened about, asked the other. Let's analyze it. After all, there are two possibilities. Either war will break out, or it won't. If it doesn't, there's no cause for alarm. If it does, there are two possibilities. Either they take you, or they don't take you. If they don't, alarm is needless. And even if they do, there are two possibilities. Either you're given combat duty, or non-combatant duty. If non-combatant, what is there to be worried about? And if combat duty, there are two possibilities. You'll be wounded, or you won't be wounded. Now, if you're not wounded, you can forget your fears. But even if you are wounded, there are two possibilities. Either you're wounded gravely, or you're wounded slightly. If you're wounded slightly, your fear is nonsensical. And if you're wounded gravely, there are still two possibilities. Either you succumb and die, or you don't succumb and you live. If you don't die, things are fine and there's no cause for alarm. And even if you do die, there are two possibilities. Either you will be buried in a Jewish cemetery, or you won't be. Now, if you are buried in a Jewish cemetery, what is there to be... What is there to worry about? And even if you are not, but why be afraid? There may not be any war at all.